This video will teach you how to add a user. A user is someone that has access to Hippo. Users have customized permissions. The permissions that a user has determines what they can or cannot do in the software. A user must be added on a user grid. You can find a user grid at the enterprise level or facility level. Adding a user from the enterprise level allows you to give permission to several facilities. Adding a user at a facility level will only give permissions to that one particular facility. In this case, we will add the user from the enterprise level. Click on the Enterprise Admin panel located on the left side of the screen. Next, click on the User panel. Click on the New Control button located in the top right corner. A new user window will appear. The first three columns in red are mandatory. Click in the first name field and type in the user's first name. Next, click in the last name field and type the user's last name. Then, click in the user ID field to create the user's ID. This is needed when the user logs in to Hippo. We suggest the first letter of their first name combined with their last name to create the user ID. In this window, you can also add additional details such as an email address, job title, or phone numbers. Select Open Permissions pop-up after Savings to edit permissions after saving the user. Click Save. This will open up a new window called the Edit Permissions form. It is important to note that there are three pages to the Edit Permissions form. Enterprise Admin, Facility Admin, and Facility General. The Enterprise page contains Enterprise Level Permissions and General Permissions. Permissions on the Enterprise page are more top-level permissions to the whole HIPPO program. The permissions you see here are related with the panels you see under the Enterprise Admin panel. Typically, only a handful of users have Enterprise Admin permissions. The general permissions on the Enterprise Admin page are a variety of permission settings. These permissions will determine what the user can or cannot do within HIPPO. For example, adding a check next to Mobile Enabled means this user will be able to access the mobile version of HIPPO. Next, click on Facility Admin. The Facility Admin page contains facility level permissions. We suggest you click on the Facilities page first to select which facilities this user should be associated to. On the Facility Admin page, you can give a user permission to view, add, edit, or delete information. You can use the All button, select Permissions within Rows, or check permission boxes one at a time. Next, click on the Facility General page. The Facility General page is where most users will have their permissions and is divided into five subcategories. You must make sure that the user has a check mark in the box next to the Enable Login permission. 
you can now give this user a variety of permissions, again, for the facility level. Some examples are permissions to submit a demand work order, run reports, or select which type of emails they should receive. Once you have finished customizing permissions for this user, hit the Save button at the bottom of the window. If you click in the Password field, you can create a password for this user. This is also needed when the user logs in to Hippo. If you do not create a password, then the default password is simply password. To edit details of the user, click the Edit button. To edit the permissions of the user, click the Permissions button. You can edit permissions for multiple users at the same time by checkmarking each user's name, then clicking any of the permission icons on the grid. This is how you add a user to Hippo.